Hello everyone. The Bible is actually a small library of books. It is divided into two parts, the Old and the New Testament. The Old Testament relates the history of God's dealing with mankind until the coming of Jesus of Nazareth. The New Testament records God's encounter with humanity in the person of Jesus Christ, who lived, was crucified, died, and rose again for our salvation. These accounts are contained in what are called the Gospels, which form the very heart of the Bible. They are reverenced by the Church because they are the principal source for her teaching about our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Now, the New Testament also includes other books and letters written by other authors, especially St. Paul. Because of the existence of other writings that were not inspired by God, the Church, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, determined which writings were authentic and inspired, drawing up a complete list called the Canon of Scripture, and that was drawn up in the 4th century under Pope Damasus. There are 46 books in the canon of the Old Testament. There is a tradition that Moses, who was the author of the first five books of the Old Testament, these five books are called collectively the Pentateuch, derived from Greek word that means five cases, perhaps referring to the boxes in which the scrolls were kept. Now by 100 BC, this list was complete. There are 27 books in the New Testament ca canon. The letters of St. Paul were the first ones written, beginning between 50 and 55 AD, and ending with his death about 67 AD. The four Gospels followed soon after, beginning with either the Gospel of Matthew or the Gospel of Mark, and concluding with the Gospel of John. All these got Gospels were written by the end of the first century. Now, by tradition, St. Matthew is the Matthew identified as one of Jesus' apostles. St. Mark is named in the Acts of the Apostles, and his Gospel is regarded as the substance of St. Peter's preaching. St. Luke is also mentioned in the Acts of the Apostles and acted as St. Paul's travelling companion, at least for a while. By his own description, he carefully researched his Gospel from eyewitnesses. The Acts of the Apostles, also written by St. Luke, was probably written before St. Paul's death and is at least in part history that St. Luke himself witnessed. The Gospel of St. John by tradition is written by the John identified as another of Jesus' apostles and also by tradition as the apostle whom Jesus loved, John 13, 23 and 19, 25. The remainder of the New Testament consists of letters written by St. Peter, St. James, St. Jude, St. John, all the Apostles, all Apostles, the letter to the Hebrews, whose authorship is not certain, although it had traditionally been attributed to St. Paul, and the final book, Revelation, attributed as well to St. John the Evangelist. We must understand that although the Bible consists of 73 books written over a period of more than a millennium by perhaps 40 human authors, its principal author, of course, is the Holy Spirit who inspired each human author to write only what God wanted written for the sake of our salvation. In essence, therefore, Sacred Scripture is one book, and that one book is Jesus Christ, the Word of God, about whom all of Sacred Scripture writes and in whom all Scripture is fulfilled. Now, here are a few questions you might like to consider. First, St. Augustine in the 5th century said, the New Testament lies hidden in the Old, and the Old is unveiled in the New. What do you think he meant by this? Second, 
St. Jerome, who translated the whole Bible into Latin in the 5th century AD, said that ignorance of the scriptures is ignorance of Christ himself. How do you feel about this statement? Third, St. Vincent's in Sheffield it gives out free day-by-day -day booklets, pocket size, every month to anyone who wants one. They are the mass readings for scripture for each day of the year. Do you think we are asking too much for people to read and meditate on these daily readings? What's your thinking on all of this? Now thank you all for listening and God bless you all.